So I was supposed to do boxing cardio today, boxing for cardio, and for a number of different reasons, it had to be canceled. Then I was thinking about doing steady state cardio, you know, just at the gym myself, like on the bike or the Stairmaster or whatever. Then I remembered that I actually have one more back session to do this week. Totally forgot about it somehow. So I'm gonna do it in a place I haven't trained in in forever, my basement. <laughs> the home gym is a disaster. I mean, I've just used it for like storage and whatnot. I haven't really trained in it. I'm gonna actually try deadlifting for the first time today in ages. From the last leg workout video you guys saw, my hip seems to be good enough to do, you know, narrow stanced movements for lower body training. So I think I can get away with conventional deadlifts. I'm gonna try it anyway. I was doing sumo for a while, man, and I was loving sumo, and I never even got to show you guys my new and improved sumo stance. And it was feeling really, really good. But I'm gonna give it more time, obviously. I'm gonna give the hip more time to heal before I go back to wide stance movements like sumo. So, I'm gonna do deadlifts for the first time. My good buddy Ricky borrowed my Ani, my high top Ani sneakers that I deadlift in, and he still has them, so. <laughs> Today, since we're at home, I'm gonna be using my low top sliders, the slide-ons. Still the same structure as the high tops, still a four millimeter sole, so it's like deadlifting in socks. Go do the job. So, deadlifts are feeling really good, knock on wood. Uh, hip feels great, and I feel pretty strong. First day back into deadlifts in like a month, and the first day back into conventional deadlifts in maybe two months. So I'm gonna take baby steps, I don't wanna push anything heavy yet, but I am feeling good. So, to make up for the lack of cardio we did today, I'm gonna do three sets of 12 with 315, resetting in between each rep. Give that a shot one day, uh, it's exhausting. Man, my glutes are on fire. Holy hell. <laughs> Man, it's a different kind of feeling. They're exhausting too. I'm sweating like crazy and I'm breathing. It's all the Valsalva breathing that you do. You're going, bracing your core every single rep. And all over again while exerting zero to 100 energy on having your muscles be relaxed, then suddenly tense, pulling weight off the ground. With something else, give that a shot. Three sets of 12 with, you know, a moderate amount of weight, nothing crazy. Do a bellless and reset between every rep. Moving on, I like to throw in pull-ups whenever I can. I think pull-ups are a good skill to have. It's funny because the strength you need for pull-ups does not seem to be correlated with the strength you need for weightlifting. For example, if I go a long time not doing pull-ups, I'll have a hard time doing like four sets of eight. <laughs> but at the same time, I'll be able to deadlift 550 off the ground raw and bent barbell row 315. So doing the body weight calisthenic stuff it's a totally different skill. Uh, I like balancing it out. I like having a good mix of the body weight calisthenics and the weights, obviously, because I think if you do just weights, you're lacking some functional strength that you might get from the calisthenics. But if you do just calisthenics, you're not gonna be able to overload the muscle as well as you can with weights. Therefore, you're not gonna get a whole lot of mass from it. That's why you see a lot of those incredible calisthenics guys. They're super ripped, but they don't usually have 
massive backs or crazy lat wings, um, but they're obviously in amazing shape. Versus, you know, on the other side, you have weightlifters who can lift a thousand pounds on a barbell but can't pull themselves up onto a bar. So I think throwing in a good mix is going to give you the best of both worlds. I don't think you should be doing just one or the other if your goal is to be tan and jacked, as Mark Bell would say. Next up, we're doing bent barbell rows. I've done the, uh, the barbell rows where you let the bar come down to the ground at a full rest and then you explode it back up. I do understand that those, I appreciate the fact that those are beneficial. They're great for building that explosive power. Um, a lot of great overload for the muscle, but personally, just me, myself, and I, I don't care for them. I've tried them multiple different times on different occasions and they just, they're too awkward for me. I don't feel like I get as much out of them as I do just the traditional stand and bent barbell rows. So that's what we're doing and the theme today is higher reps. I swear I just had my jacket a second ago and now I can't find it for the life of me. But it's all good because I worked up sweat and I'm still hot. Walking to this convenience store that's like a stone's throw away because walking in this beautiful weather is amazing. Just picking up a quick little refreshment. This actually, this store's pretty cool. I go here all the time. And uh, the guy behind the counter, super cool guy, and he actually follows the channel. So hopefully he's there today, but either way, gonna pick up a quick little refreshment before we start cooking food for post-workout gains. Yorktown Market, that's the place. Ah. You know what's funny is I feel like I've been so productive all day as far as like getting a ton of good footage for my next video upload and whatnot, but all I've really been doing is just talking to myself with a camera in front of me all day long now. <laughs> like, if it wasn't for the 200,000 of you guys watching my videos, I would literally just be a sad, lonely lunatic talking to myself with a camera all day long. Good morning guys, it's Sunday, October 25th. This is like my seventh take because I hate mornings. I cannot form words right now and it's pissing me off. Okay, see if we can do it this time. I'm heading over to meet Ariana bright and early this morning so we can meet up with her dad at the dojo. Now her dad is a, a 20 year martial artist, he has his second degree black belt in Kempo Jiu Jitsu, and he was trained under Nick Sirio, who passed away, but if you guys are into martial arts, you may know that name. And he's been training Ariana for like five months now. That's all the training she's been doing. She actually canceled her gym membership because this style of training obviously is amazing for you. What I'm doing today is I'm gonna be filming a video submission compiling her training. So she's gonna be like flipping her brother who's 230 pounds and she's gonna be doing her own martial arts stunts and whatnot. And I'm also with that same footage gonna make a YouTube video for her channel, uh, another Diva's Diary episode because she hasn't uploaded in a long time. So check out her channel, that'll be up soon enough. And um, yeah, that's, that's the plan for this morning. And then I'm going to go to my family house because it's my dad's birthday and he's making his homemade chili he makes amazing chili so I'm basically intermittent fasting today I don't recommend this it's not the most thorough way to do things but basically I kind of want to not have to track anything basically have a cheat day if you will but without going over my calories chili is not that 
crazy of a cheat food. I mean, it's basically just some fat and protein. It's like a lot of lean meat. Obviously, you get the tortilla chips that you dip it in. You melt some cheese in it. Oh, it's delicious. But basically, I'm intermittent fasting, so the chili will like be the only thing I have all day, but I'm gonna have a lot of it. <laughs> so, all in all, I probably won't even go over my calories. But uh, yeah, I kind of want to not worry about tracking today because it's my dad's birthday. But at the same time, try to avoid going way over my calories if I can, if that makes sense. Yeah. Mm, look at that. Nice BB gun. Thanks, baby. <laughs> Rob, what we got? What, what are we working with work today? Working with an AR-15 556 five, round and a Glock 34 Gen 4. Backyard shooting. This is our marksmanship. <laughs> That's not bad, that's like two out of a hundred. I got the plastic box, lad. Oh, you got that, did you? Hang on, focus, that. there we go. It's pretty good, it's pretty good, right? Yeah. Look at this, <laughs> look at this. Oh, no, it hit the floor. It hit his foot. Did it hit the foot or did it hit the ground? It hit the foot. Yeah. You yeah. Pumpkins. Halloween is the best holiday in the world. <laughs> Yes, Dad has. Want to take a trip down memory lane real quick? Oh! Remember this place? Yeah. That's where it all started, baby. A little different now, though. Look at it. It's being used as like storage now. AC units are here. The curl rack has uh, an old guitar case on top of it. Couldn't even access the music right now if we wanted to. Look at that. That was my first competition right there. I was 15 years old. Was I ready to get on stage competitively? Hell no. But I just did it, man. You know what I really, I believe, and, and I am not saying this because I did it. I actually learned this by talking to a couple of uh, really successful people, and they all said the same thing to me. And Skip LeCur said it too in his radio thing. Um, the one thing that all great people, or I shouldn't say great people, because, you know, what, what makes a person. People who do great things, the one thing they all have in common is they just dive into things. They don't wait until they think they're ready. They don't sit there and uh, plan it out first and foremost. I mean, you'd be a little strategical, obviously, but you just dive right in, whether you feel ready or not. And I saw Christian Guzman post something like that too. And I was like, you know what? Anytime I've ever done something well, I did kind of just dive into it. I'm not saying I'm great. I'm not saying I've, I've achieved a lot of success. I'm just saying, just in areas that I have done some things in, they were all areas that I just dove into. Bodybuilding was one of them. Dove right into it, didn't think about it. Um, that's pretty cool. Check this out. When I get my new place, I told you guys about how I'm into real estate one now, looking for the new place. When I do move into my new place, I'm going to come back and get all these teen trophies. I didn't... See, I keep these teen trophies. This was the OCB Rhode Island Natural. I love that one. First place in the teens, I love that trophy. And this was fifth place in the men's division. I was 17. Um, I didn't bring these with me because I figured it's the teen stuff, right? Don't live in the past. Look forward. But once I get a new place, I'll, I'll bring them out. I'll dust them off. I'll set up like a cool little trophy area. Put my powerlifting medals there too. I think it'd be cool to have, you know, just kind of uh, as ammunition and motivation to keep going for better things. But this was the first NPC show I ever did and the only NPC show I did. You can't do NPC when you're natural. But it was a small show. So won the teens, second place in the men's lightweight open. That was 16 years old. This was fourth in men's and first in teens. I don't even remember which trophies which anymore. Man, this was my first show ever. 15 years old. Second place teens, best posing award. This is out of date. This is IMBF, NPC, and OCB. I got my membership cards there for each one, verifying that I did each one. Um, but since then... I also competed in the IMBA, which was the Natural Mr. Olympia. Actually, speaking of which, oh, there that is. Natural Mr. Olympia, second place, Team Mr. Olympia. And then I also did a, a Muscle Beach contest, which they're not sanctioned by a federation. I think that's just Muscle Beach. But man, yeah, so I'm excited. Whenever I get the new place, I'll get like a little office set up. 
I have my magazine covers, my magazine features and whatnot still all in frames. I'll bring those out too. I'll get the old stuff out again. It's a lot of hardware to be proud of. This thing is a beast, dude. This old school machine. Ugh. It's 262 pounds, but it's old school mechanics, so it feels heavy. The new machines you have at the gym, you can put them on 216 and it's pretty easy. This thing does not have the benefit of like the new age pulleys. <laughs> See if I can even push that. I don't know if I can. <sighs> Holy crap, dude. <laughs> oh my god, wait, I gotta get a picture. <laughs> Napoleon died <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs>